Right, were a first away win of the season and what an effort it was from your players today. It's been amazing. I think the, the excitement in the, in the changing room is, uh, is amazing and I think they, they deserve. And uh, today we saw that the, we are not just 11 or 12 or 14 players. We are 20 players and uh, players who hadn't played at all. Uh, they, were, they were on the pitch today and they performed really well. And I think is the the main thing apart from the three points that always are important. You know to to know that I knew, but uh, you know to confirm that they, you have 20 players ready to to play always. And um, when they arrive to the to the changing room to to see and to feel that the camaraderie and that the atmosphere is uh, is really good. You mentioned it there. Five changes from the side that beat Huddersfield. Uh, Josh Dakers, Cogley and, and, uh, and Riley McCree coming in and you have a real trust in this entire squad, don't you? Yes, and uh, I said at the beginning that I didn't want to have a, a lot of players. I prefer to have less players, but uh, everybody uh, challenging for their position, knowing that uh, they were going to be important, knowing that they, are gonna, uh, they were going to have uh, games and um, I think it's, uh, it's good to have players like Riley, like Josh, who are, uh, who were in player playing in the in the past and they went to the pitch today in a difficult day because uh, to play here against Preston never is uh, never is easy and they were really good with the players who are playing with the players who are not playing again we are in October and uh, we are in a in a good position and it always helps when you get off to the perfect start less than 90 seconds on the clock and Riley McGree makes an instant impact he looked right at home this afternoon yeah, and especially when you score one goal just uh, two minutes uh, from the beginning. So, but I think that goal penalised us a, lot, a little bit in the uh, in the first half because, you know, it's it's difficult to to manage when you score one goal and as soon as soon as we score the the goal, and then you think that the game is over and against Preston never the game is is over. Uh, they were uh, fighting till till the end, but uh, in the at the half time we were correcting uh, the mistakes that we were making. And then uh, I changed the shape uh, in the second half because uh, I was uh, feeling that we needed to to change. And uh, you know, once again, we showed that the, they don't care about the shape, they don't care about the players who are on the pitch. They are a, a real team. Mm -hmm. Jaden Stockley gets Preston back level at one each, but you must be really impressed with the the reaction from your players. It was a goal from nothing, but they didn't let it affect them and continued to play as you'd asked them. Yes, I think is the the main thing that the, now the team, the players are thinking that they can they can win or they can try to win every single every single game and every single every single opponent, and is the the main thing to to go to the pitch, uh, approaching in that uh, in that way. Because uh, again, two months ago against Cambridge, it was completely the opposite. We were losing the game even before the kickoff. So now is the the opposite. We know that we can score one goal, and then if we concede one goal, uh, we can come back again, and that is the the main thing. Created a number of chances in the second half. It would be easy to come to Deepdale with the record we've had over the past 19, 20 years and settle for a point. But committing men forward and, and Gary Gardner with his virtually his first touch nods in the winner. You must have been delighted. Yeah, and uh, you know, I know, and for that reason, I had changed the five, six players in the in the first eleven, and I, I knew that now in this league we've had uh, I don't know how many games in a row, and now we have another one on Wednesday, another one on, on Saturday, and uh, they had done the three substitutions, and uh, you know, I was keeping the the second and the the third, and when I thought that the game was perfect for for Gaza, I put him on the pitch because uh, we needed the energy at the time, and. Uh, Gasta is a player who is uh, full of energy and now he's confident because he scored last day, he scored today and I think it was uh, good for, for him and good for the team. A word on a couple of individual performances. Mikel San Jose with the assist again for Gary Garner. He slotted in at, at centre-back this afternoon and what a performance both in possession and out of possession from, from Mikel. Yes, but uh, again, I, I know Mikel, uh, I know how good he is. But once again, I, I would like to to speak about the, all the team, and uh, we can't forget that. For example, we finished the, the game today. Fin uh, we finished the game today, playing with the same defenders that we were here last year. So Max, Robo, and uh, Halley and, and Christian, and they've been perfect. So it means that they are improving as individuals. They are improving as a team, which is uh, which is the the good thing for everybody. Managers expect their goalkeepers to make saves, but that one at the end from Neil Etheridge wasn't bad, was it? Yeah, it's good, Neil. You know, it's uh, one of the best. Uh, I was going to say one of the best, but for me, obviously, is the the best play, the best keeper in the in the league. Uh, and I, I 
can't say what I was going to say. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm really confident with, uh, with him because, uh, again, he's not happy with, with the thing that he's doing. He wants to, to improve. With Tony now helping him, he's going to improve. We have uh, Andres on the bench, so really, really calm on this with, uh, with that position. It's a shame that Zag is going to be out for, uh, for a while, but uh, I told him that he will come back uh, stronger and more mature. And I suppose the message now going into back-to-back -back home games, no room for complacency when we face Wickham on Wednesday. No, because uh, it's the perfect, uh, the perfect uh, way to, to make a big mistake. Uh, thinking that we won two games in a row and we are going to play against uh, Wickham, recently promoted, and uh, we are going to win easy. That would be the biggest mistake that we could, uh, we could make, so we need to... To keep going in the same way, we need to fight in the same way that we fought the, the last two or three or four games because, uh, you know, in this league and today Wickham has, uh, has won uh, Save Wednesday, so we need to know and we know that uh, every single game is going to be a, a big, big battle. All right, so congratulations and thank you for talking to us. Thank you.